What's up everyone, this is Danny for Gadget Hacks here with the Galaxy Note 3. Today I'd like to tell you about a cool new third-party alternative uh, text messaging app. It's called QKSMS. It's by a developer named Moaz Bati, and if I butcher your name, I'm really sorry. Now, to get and download and install this app, you have to join um, the alpha testing. Currently, it's in testing phase, so you have to join a Google Plus community page. Once you're accepted into the community, you're going to opt into the alpha using a link. And then once Google Play accepts you in, you're going to go to the other link I provided in the full tutorial and download and install the app. You're going to use your desktop web browser on Google Play to push the app install to your phone. Now once you have that installed, make sure you go to Apps, you go to Settings, and in Settings you go to Default Applications and choose QKSMS as your default messaging app. Now once you've done that, you're just going to launch QKSMS and it's going to pull up all your sent and received messages. Now the cool thing is, is I just tap on a message, you could see, see your conversation list, and then just slide right back. And if you want to compose a new message, just tap there, and then enter your recipients and enter your message. Now if I want to search for a message, um, I can search for a name or maybe a specific word, and I'll just, I'll just search through all my messages and find that one word or specific name. Now let me show you the, some of the cool settings you could configure. Now in settings you have appearance. Of course, you could change the, the font, the font size, but here you could change the color scheme, so if you're not a fan of red, you could change that and exit out of there. You could have a tinted status bar and a tinted navigation bar, that's really just for um, Nexus devices. Um, night mode is cool, so if you like to use your phone a lot, you don't want all the brightness and the glare in your eye, just enable that. And if you have an AMOLED screen like I do on the Note 3, you just enable pure black so none of the darker pixels will use power and it helps you save a lot of battery life. You can also have color sent messages, color received messages to differentiate between the two, hide your avatars in conversations and also hide uh, received message avatars if you don't like those. Let me disable night mode actually and then you also have message count and sliding panel tab is what I just showed you earlier. Now in general, you could have a delivery confirmation, so if you're not sure um, if a message is sent, you'll get a confirmation that's you know, successfully sent, have vibrations. Now Endless Jabber is an app I talked about in a past how-to. If you have Endless Jabber, um, it allows you to send SMS messages using your desktop computer, it links it to your phone, so enabling that will have um, support for that app. If you have a, la if you have a lot of landline, landline numbers, you could sh check only show mobile numbers, so you could differentiate it between the two. And if you have, um, if you compose a lot of long messages, you could compose as a group message when you send it to multiple people and also split longer messages. You can also send long messages as MMS messages if you want. And for those who use 24 hour time, you can enable that there. Now for notifications, you could have, of course, SMS notifications enabled. Uh, you could also have the LED notifications if you like those. You could also change the color. Um, showing ticker will allow you to have sent messages um, scroll on your status bar. If you care about your privacy, you can enable private notifications. You don't get any of your personal um, messages shown. Vibrations, you can enable that there. And if you don't like the default notification sound, you can change that. Now, this goes here. Oops. Let's go to QKSMS Plus. If you like supporting the developer and you like the app, you could buy the Plus version. Now what that does, it just unlocks extra features and right now it's 50% 50 off for alpha testers, so be sure to check that out. Now um, enabling automatic night mode is one of the cool things. It's say you use your phone from 11 p.m. to, you don't want your phone to, no, to, to ring at 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. Just in, set those time and then enable that there. Now quick reply is a cool thing. Now what Quick Reply does, if you enable it, is if you have an incoming uh, message, uh, a message bubble will pop up and you can just reply to it directly from wherever you are. Now let's exit out of there. Quick Compose is one of my favorites. It's just having that enabled. Well, you can just pull down the status bar and then tap Quick Compose, enter in a recipient and then your message. It's really fast. It saves up a lot of time. You don't have to search for the app. In advance, you could also change your um, MMS settings. Now, some of you might have issues with this. Um, I did with um, a different carrier. Just make sure you have the right um, settings for it, the right APNs for this. And let's exit out of there. That was QKSMS, and it's a third-party messaging app for your phone. Be sure to check it out. 
Also check out the full tutorial on gadget hacks and if you have any questions or issues or comments be sure to send them my way. Thanks and you have a good day.